guys. D D tight trading. D tight trading. What are you D tight trading from? I trade down and tight trading down. Oh, oh. D tight trading down, folks. That's what we're doing tonight. Mike Tyson's punch out with my buddy John. Remember John? We played Spy Hunter together. Remember John? My name's Bob. How the hell are you? Is everybody yeah, doing? Yeah. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Uh, we're going to be talking about Mike Tyson's punch out. Absolutely, man. And everything in between. Shall we? Okay, let's load. Let's play. Loading. Loading, John. John says loading. Mike Tyson is waiting for your challenge. You know, I, it's interesting how much Mike Tyson has changed over his life. Oh, yeah. You know, like now he... Uh, did you did you happen yeah. to see that Joe Rogan uh, interview? Yes, I did. Yeah, it was crazy. He has changed. And he... John remembers the code, apparently. I, I don't know. Maybe I do. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to try. Let's see what he gets. Um... Move the mouse cursor out of the way. And that, um, oh, well, that's okay. We'll keep it clean and come out boxing. The last Joe. Right, gonna, rank number two. Yeah, Dang, like, this is like some uh, bizarro world where Glass Joe's ranked two. How did he get number two? <laughs> Glass Joe is, is kind of a punching bag. And, and, <laughs> and he kind of reminds me of like how I might be if I like to go box. Nah. I, you know, but... Yeah, he he's like the guy that never he never was. And how do you get to be, become a professional fighter anyway? Well, he's got a six pack when you hit him. I mean, look at the oh, whole four so he's pack. in shape. Well, I mean, you can go to the, the local gym and find guys in shape. I mean, they could fight too. Well, he's not doing very well. The, I mean, yeah. as evidenced by that shit. He has that. You know, they say he has a glass jaw, but that yet you hit him in the stomach and he falls. Well, hey man, and he got up though. Yeah, I guess it's a it's the jaw shot that does it, right? Indeed. Oh, I'm drinking this uh, rain energy drink tonight. Don't start drinking them, because once you drink them, you're not going to be able to stop. They're good. They're good things to drink, man. Um, I had one tonight. First ever. Good to you the... Know, my buddy Bob. Yeah? So, yeah. Like, tons... <laughs> this game... So, is so a... yes. It, this game's hard to... Like, the game... I couldn't never really find a rhyme or reason to it, like why guys would like block certain punches and why they wouldn't. Like it just during like I guess like during like certain times, like it like the game's like programmed like at at round one, one thirty, Glass Joe's like defense goes up thirty percent or something. Like it's Yeah. Never could figure that out, huh? Yeah. Well I never really thought about it, I just kinda of would play. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yes, yes, sir. This friend. guy looks like he has some type of camel toe. John, did you yeah. notice that? They all they Von Kaiser has some type of Von Camel toe, it appears. Hmm. And I like his stash. Kind of has the hipster thing the going Von on. Kaiser goes down fast. You can still see his camel toe. Which is interesting that I never noticed that before. Especially John, because he's a... It's a babe hound. Caboose, good job. Yeah, um, good job. Get him out, man. This game, this is another... I love this game. This game, like, never gets old to me. Do you think fighting Mike Tyson is almost a metaphor for for going against life, John? And he's explosive. Sometimes... You know what life, like... You don't know when you're going to die. It can be at any possible moment. One thing that's sure is true is like when you die, it's not going to be a happy situation. Yeah. Like I'm realizing that like no matter what life, it you there's going to be suffering, and the last moment is not going to, no matter how it goes, it's not going to be pleasant. So it like that's why that the Buddhist view of life is such an important thing to balance with the Western like meaning driven life. We have to. We have to take a metaphysical approach to things. Like, look beyond our egos. Look beyond our culture. You know, experience awareness itself. Um, to sum it up, yes. The sting of his leather tastes just like the sting of life. You gotta train sometimes. You gotta know the rhythms. You gotta get the experience before you can come out victorious. But in and, life... And, and then you gotta, yeah, then you gotta practice, too. You gotta practice, baby. You get the experience. I don't. I want to know if there's ever been anyone who, like, the very first time they went against Mike Tyson, won. You know those people do that bl blindfolded, blindfolded Mike Tyson punch out. 
they beat Mike Tyson blindfolded. Check it out. So they've like memorized like that's best by memory then. But I want to see someone who has like never played the game before. Just like someone like hands them the remote and they were able to like beat Mike Tyson the first go around. Oh, it's impossible. Because it's based on uh, memorization. Yeah. For sure. You get these patterns. Yeah, usually like they miss with a punch and you can like hit them a few times. I used to call it sticking and moving. Like, stick you know, because sometimes he's like, stick and move. I'm like, ooh, stick and move. Do, 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 yeah. do, do. Yeah. Dude, you've got like five free hits. Yeah. Real boxing matches aren't like that. Usually if you punch a guy in the head five times in a row and he doesn't defend himself, he has usually won. I'm... I call, call the fight. Yeah. Call the fight. All the training. Oh, I like this guy. Pink he reminds me of my high school gym teacher. It's Doc, man. Yeah. Doc's leading the way. My high school gym teacher was much taller, though. One of the, one of the guys, though, that reminds me of him was uh, shorter he had cauliflower ears mm -hmm. and apparently he was a wrestler like in his his college years and this guy was like old by now but by the time i knew him and uh apparently when he was in college he broke some guy's neck accidentally wrestling it was ridiculous but the guy was a beast i think his name is like bergman or something mm -hmm. i don't know man it's craziness man you know there's a, definitely there's a homo like phobic vibe to the villains in this game between glass joe von kaiser and like don flamingo they all kind of kind of form some gay stereotypes some type of uh, you know, flamboyant like tendencies. yeah 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 exactly like, well you're supposed to be from france well yeah well, so and and the friends are kind of like lovers you know Spain, what i mean and yeah, he has yeah. he has a rose and that you know kind it's of just, signifies yeah. his uh He's a romantic. You it's know? just like I don't think this game would be would get away with that. He looks today. like a guy that would duel somebody. You know what I mean? That, I, would, that would show up yeah, in like yeah. the Victorian and, dress. And, and, and that's I think what they had in mind when they did that. But like people these days are so sensitive, they'd be like, "Oh no, it looks like you're beating up a gay person." But like that was just something that like they put in there. They didn't think of, think of it. He's done. Yeah, this is a knockout, man. Nah, he, he's coming knockout. back. He's no, coming he's back. not. No, he's not. When's John going to lose? That's the question. What? When is John going to lose? How far is it? When's the last time you played this game, John? Um, ah, man. It's got to be a Without while. lying, John. John is a visual liar, by the way. He is the worst. Hey, Always uh, lying. Tr truth, man, be told, it, it's at least 10 years. You know he's a liar because he has to say truth be told. No, you don't. You don't know that. No, oh, Hippo. Will he remember the code? Not the code. Oh, the yeah. pattern. Oh, punch oh he punch did. The oh, crap. He's good. He's good. That's when you know the guy is good. That's the skill. I have beaten Mike Tyson. Caboose. But I bet you I can't beat him right now. I don't yeah. know. Maybe I can. That'd be cool if someone made a mod and, like, when you hit him, like, a big old schlong comes uh -huh. flapping out. You know what I noticed in this game? It doesn't matter which direction you dodge either. Just dodge. Like, if, if you go left or right. I, don't think I, I think one way might be a little faster than the other. I don't know. Yeah. I think with his punches, one is. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I'm sure people have timed it, and I'm sure there's little, little intricacies. Yeah. I just know this is one of the best Nintendo games ever made. Without a doubt. Yeah, top five. Caboose, KO. Winning it was like a, a true achievement. Yeah. He does like a little like Olympic lift when he mm -hmm. celebrates. Well, we got to yeah. fight the, uh, the tiger now. Yeah. Tiger. Bombay, India. Do you like tigers? I like tigers. Yeah. If... if if uh, giving yourself a boner, let's say you haven't had a boner for three years, if giving yourself a boner meant uh, grinding up a tiger penis and drinking it in tea, would you do it? Um. And you haven't had a boner in three years. And Viagra, oh. the, uh, you, you don't have access to it, I guess. You know, man, that not having a boner for three years can be a blessing in some scenario. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I'll just get three, three shots. Ooh, he withstands my. So, uh, so you would, uh, you'd be all right with, you would save the tigers then. Yeah, probably. Save the tigers, everybody. Dude, no, really, whoa, the Chinese. Hold on. Dude, are, I'm in trouble here a little bit. The what Chinese are grinding up their penises like no tomorrow. Hey, are they really? Yeah. It's that thing, like for real. They love grinding up tiger penis. They love it. What? it makes them virile. Oh, Strong like Man, a bull. Fucking lifting makes like you virile. a tiger. You, you know Chris Rock? One of the funniest thing, uh, joke, Chris Rock jokes. You remember that, uh, like, uh, they're lost, some Las Vegas act, like, um, they have the, the tigers, the white tigers. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, so all of them, Siegfried and Roy. Yeah, Siegfried and Roy. That's, that, that's what I thought it was. I, I thought it was, I, I thought I was thinking about, like, Sigmund Freud, and I was like, why am I Sigmund Freud, Sigmund, 
whoever we were talking about. They had tigers, and you guys remember, right? It was like probably about 10, 15 years ago now. Like one of them got bit in the head or something yeah. by one of the tigers. And, uh, and, and Chris Rock was talking about that tiger, and he was like, uh, "People think that tiger went went crazy. That tiger didn't go crazy. That tiger, tiger went, went tiger." tiger. <laughs> you know what you're talking about, yeah. <laughs> And it's so true because you know who the like, gosh man, like that tiger was ever. It's crazy for that tiger to have been like tame that whole time. Yeah, you know, it's a wild. Uh, it's a tiger for yeah, God's sake. Jesus, you could was it saying a thousand pounds of fury locked in a box? You, can, yeah. you can't do that, man. Yes, you just can't. It's no okay. This guy's like bald three bald. times the size of like, like the French guy. Yeah, bald bull here. You know, if you're in prison. And uh, it's your new There's cell. There's guys that a lot of guys that look like bald bull. Well, I was about to say if yeah. you're in prison and it's your new cellmate day, and your cell new cellmate walks in and he walks like and he looks like this, you know you're in trouble. You know. Oh you're yeah, in trouble. yeah. No, it's not good. You're gonna turn into a cock sock before we know it. It's not gonna be pretty soon. Hey, were you turned into a cock sock? I never was. Have you ever been to jail, very young John? Yeah, who me? Uh. I once visited a jail in yeah. a college class. Did you? Yes, but I was not ever a resident of a jail. Is that interesting? I actually have. I've, did you know a true story? I've never even been suspended from school. Mm. Straight as an arrow, folks. Was, John here. I did get a like an underage drinking citation. Um, once. But that was, oh shit! He just fucking hammered me. Underage citation. <laughs> Yeah. I got an underage citation one time. It was like a few counties over at the coast, yeah. up at Florence. Oh shit! And I remember I just never showed up at court, and then I swear it never was on my record. Because when I joined, I joined the Navy, and it wasn't on my record. That happened to me with some parking tickets, yeah. where like they had like oh I did that arrest. too. I just Pomona. I just didn't pay them, and eventually they just dropped. Yeah, them. in Pomona I did yeah. the same thing. Yeah, it's funny, funny stuff, dude. You're getting it, man. You're good. Has he, oh, done, shit. has he done the bull charge? Yeah, I need I need him to do it again to like, yes, good, dude, fucker. Dude, uh, you are good. This guy's good, man, John. Yeah, man, I'm honest. John, what was your nickname back in uh, school? NP Stallion, man. I thought it was like the White Panther. You White said it was Panther. the White Panther. No, sometimes my uh, I I got called the Bald Eagle because I oh. once, but no, not the yeah. White. I I was called the Eagle. For a while, because I have like this talon action, which mm -hmm. is pretty vicious and strong. It's the yeah. nighttime training pink, scene, pink suit, dude. or or is it very early? I was wondering. It was it's hours. probably it's probably uh, dawn hours. I would say because he's there working. My did you say my dad saw Lennox Lewis run past him in the Poconos and was training to fight Mike Tyson? Really? Yeah, they had like security around. Say, say that again. Where was he? He, he was in the Poconos. The Poconos. Yeah, the Pocono Mountains. Uh huh. Um, and and like there was like a he had like an entourage with him and he was out uh -huh. there like training. And of course, my dad my dad says that he yelled like "protect your ears" or something yeah. to him, but which I'm sure yeah, had a chance to hear that. Wait a minute, John. Did you just hear that? Hear what? Go hit the thumbs up if you haven't already. Please, for the love of God. Anyways. Hit <laughs> the thumbs up, guys. For the love of God. Like, if you haven't hit it yet, you're not that... Oh, oh shit. Oh, thumbs up their asses. Yeah, seriously. This and Honda. He was always, like, a, I thought one of the cooler looking characters of the game. Yo, his eyes get, like, crazy when you're, like... Yeah, very, yeah they're all very he expressive. Looks, like, he looks, like, like maniacal. Yeah, maniacal. <laughs> oh, down he goes. Down he goes. Can you... Do you rap, John? Do I rap? One, two, three into the four. Bob can't see in the stallions at the door. Ready to fucking play Mike Tyson's punch out, so watch on up. Hit the thumbs up, you stupid fuck. Whoa, Bob. Can't he get a thumbs up? Because it's Bob. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I was even, I don't even know what the hell I was, was going to say. I was going to say. Oh, shit. Something. Oh, fuck. We're going to the second round. <laughs> you got Survivor. Keep your keys. Like, yo, keep your guard up. Keep Qu your guard quit up. Quit letting him punch in the face. I remember our first fight. Now I'm going to pay you back. Bonsai! Bonsai. What's he doing with his eyelids, man? What, do you know uh, Mr. Miyagi? What 
What would, what did he do for an occupation? No, no, not what we as like a pastime. What what was his occupation? I think was, didn't he was business owner or restaurant owner. What what was he doing? Uh, but he worked with bonsai trees, didn't he? Have like bonsai trees. You know what? Dude, this like I I remember uh, sidekicks with Jonathan Verandis and Chuck Norris. You remember that more than Karate Kid? Yeah. Interesting. Sidekicks with Cause Jonathan. Because we had HBO and HBO used to play it all the time, so I throw it on. Sad story about that Jonathan Verandis. What happened? Is he dead? Dude, he died a long time ago. Uh, overdose, I think. Really? Over suicide. Suicide. I don't know that. Yeah, he was on Sequest. Yeah, Sequest. Did you like Sequest? I did with Roy Schneider. Dude, we yeah. got a Sequest fan here. Uh, dude, not many people even remember Sequest. Did you watch Saturday Night Live back then at the same time Sequest was on? Um, no, I watched Saturday Night Live when Will Ferrell and Daryl Hammond were pretty big. Will Ferrell was. A... I feel like after Will Ferrell was like the last uh, Saturday Night Live. I watched. Yeah, this, this was a little, this is before out. Will Ferrell. But I remember yeah. they they would clown on uh, DS uh, Deep Space. I mean, what the whatever I was saying. <laughs> I used to watch it in living color. I yeah, I never had cable to watch that. I remember, like, having cable. Like, I had this old, like, black and white TV. And uh, if you can, like, somehow adjust the dials between channel 6 and channel 7, you somehow were able to get HBO on channel 21. <laughs> I remember, like, you know, like, real sex be coming on. It'd be 10 o'clock. I would, like, turn it on. Like, like oh, my God. Yeah. Crazy titty. My God. Uh, yeah. It was... Oh, soda like pop. Chugging. Soda soda pop is is strangely he's hard. hardcore, dude. And he's, and he's, he's thirty five, two thirty seven. Yeah, intimidating. Two thirty seven of muscle. I mean, that's yeah. a big. Mo that's like a Ray Lewis motherfucker. My my dad had a porn channel, and I knew it because he had a satellite dish. And oh, the yeah. satellite dish, uh, you know, it had a move like, you know, you didn't hear that, of course, but it took time to switch satellites. Uh -huh. So that was one clue. And then also another clue was back then those tube TVs. You could hear when they were on, even in another room. You'd, oh yeah, you'd hear could. like a little, like a little buzz, like a little hypersonic buzz. Yo, his timing and this guy. I'm sorry, the Soda Papinski and Super Macho Man. Their timing is a little different than the rest of them, and I actually think they are the hardest characters in the mm -hmm. game no uh, not quite as hard as mike tyson he has like his own unique thing going on but like their pattern is is it's 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 weird yeah um i <laughs> got you bro and i tend to struggle with soda papinski uh, you gotta get him but you hear the buzz with the tv so i knew my dad was listening to, to watching something early in the morning so I would hear that buzz, but then I'd go out there, and then he would click quickly turn the channel, and I would never see. And they would he would always switch the satellite, and then uh, so I yeah. So all I had to do was just press like uh, would go back to the satellite, and it would show what channel it was on. And it would be like blocked channel. So I knew he was watching uh, some porno channel, and so I just figured out his password, which was like the zip code, the easiest dang password. I was mm -hmm. watching porno in no time, and then I had like a buddy come over after a party, and we were watching. Uh, and we, we, we were watching, like, some porno or something. I was like, I'm going to go to bed, dude. And his name was Rob. And um, it was Rob and Bob back in the high school days. And mm -hmm. I said, make sure you turn this off. And he's like, all right, Bob. And I woke up in the morning, and my dad was pissed off because he said he woke up, like, at, like, 5, 6 a.m. or whatever, and Rob was passed out in the chair with the porno channel on. Oh, and he was man. like, I don't care how, how you ever did that. I'm going to turn it off. But he just changed the password, and it was interesting because, like, if you, uh, I, you could use the old password and hack into it again, and that's basically what I did. So I kept watching it. You can't stop a young teenage boy from masturbating, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 you cannot, man. Uh, well, you know what's crazy is like when we first got the a internet, when we had like AOL. Like yeah. I, I didn't know how the internet worked, but like I knew how to like look up porn, and like my mom was at the same time was like hell bent on busting me. She, she would like, I think my sister had a boyfriend who was like into computers and wanted to like get over with my mom so he showed her how to uh check the internet history before i even knew what internet history was and she'd like see like you know i'd be looking at like you know anal shit and stuff and like and then she ended up getting rid of the computer for six months so we got the internet and then like i went on porn and like that was it we didn't have it no. and then, um then we got it back and then then once i got smart we just yeah. found out how to hide it you know I guess those uh, laptops that they give students in uh, schools, it mm -hmm. literally within like an hour of them getting it, they'll bypass the security and be uh, like yeah. on whatever social media yeah. side, uh -huh. whatever porno side, do, downloading files. And the teachers, like, yeah, they would do it. Like, they said, like, the proxy sites, they'd be, like, just constantly just finding new ones. <laughs> I, heard, I heard a funny story. My ex-girlfriend told me about, like, um, like, kids, like, did that. 
and uh like i guess like her friend was the administrator and was like in the room uh and uh she was just like kind of grading papers acting like you know she didn't know what's going on so she heard this kid say like yeah go to like whatever whatever.com for the proxy site and like whisper it and she just like sent a text message to her friend who was like the administrator and by the time that uh that kid actually tried it out they already had that site blocked it just mm -hmm. but like yeah. shit like that happens all the time yeah it's just boom bitch we, we, we know you can get this guy, so Soda Pop gives you the Soda Pop. And then after that, you wait. Oh, Sandman is got, tough. No, no yeah. it doesn't it go Super Macho Man? No. Or, or is Macho Man after Sandman? Su I, no, Sandman is before Super Macho Man, and uh, he's a little tougher, too. He has another pattern. I always thought Sandman's pattern actually was like the prototype for Tyson. Because there's a Oh, shit, I got hammered. Yeah. Right. Ooh, he got hammered. Well, I told you, both this guy becomes your. You know, cellmate, you're gonna yeah, get, you're you're gonna get hammered. Whatever, you're doing whatever he desires. You'll be washing his socks for sure in his undies. Well, you know, so don't hide in the bushes and show your ass to girls, man. You know, I mean, it, that was a bad habit. I never got caught for that. Showing the ass crack. Yeah, I actually had a cousin that one time got caught uh, peeping in some girl's window by her dad. Isn't that funny? Oh, listen to this fucking shit. So I just found out, I, I my cousin is like an asshole. He like rab robbed my grandfather. He yeah, like, you drugs. know, like, yeah, like a lot of drug stuff. He like multiple times. So I found yeah. out a few years ago, my mom lives in a, like a, was living by herself in a rural area in Moscow, Pennsylvania. And she went on vacation and she found these like, uh, tire marks in her yard when she came back by, and like the yard was all like tore up and shit yeah. and uh it just came out that like a couple of years ago it was like him that was doing it and she was like terrified that like you know it was some dudes were gonna like come at you know two in the morning and do mm -hmm. that to her but it was like him doing it like he better hope he doesn't see me again man uh, he really better hope he doesn't see me again that um, son of a bitch naps that's what we call him around his instagram his name bitches. is richard byron i'll put his no, we're not doxing people. Oh, right, right, right. We're gonna do that. John Doe. That's all we gotta know. John Bobo. Bobo. Bobo is going down. He's not going down. He's a shit. This one doesn't follow the normal rules of the game. I remember this. Oh, oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta use the upper. Yeah, you use the uppercut or the bull charge. The bull charger. Here, right, here he is. Boom. Doom, he got me again. You're down for What's the count, on? broski. No, yet, man. No, that Rocky up. theme is playing. Dun dun dun. dun, dun, dun. dun, dun, dun. Round, dun, dun, dun round fourteen. Dun. Yep, round fourteen. Oh, round fourteen. Trade, Rocky's down. We're trading knockdowns now, baby. Yeah. Stay down, Rocky. Stay down. He gets up, takes Apollo's soul. Takes his soul. Breaks his ribs in two. <laughs> yeah. Take his soul. Oh fuck. Oh, oh, he oh, purpled you. The old purple punch. Dude, it's getting too too close here. Oh, too close too for close. comfort. Did you use your little... Uh, I think so, my little pump. Oh. I'm tired, Doc. Hang in there, Mac. Yo, Big yeah. Mac is not looking good. Not used in the... Oh, you use it? Oh, prematurely. Mm. Prematurely. Premature ejaculation. That's all right. Premature. You know, sometimes when you come premature, man, your dick will stay hard for a little bit. And you, you have enough time. Yeah. You can, you know... I don't know. I've had a bone for a few years. I need some ground up tiger penis. <laughs> oh no. Where can I get some of that? Can I get on like IamShaman.com? Uh, you, you probably get in Chinatown. Oh, I'm dead. Chinatown. That's it. That's it. I'm probably LA. Oh, LA that's Chinatown. That's or it. Or Portland Chinatown. That's it, man. You're done, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, that's that. That's it, guys. That's that. Uh, Bald Bull's going to laugh me. Yep. And that's what Memories we with Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hope everybody enjoyed. If you watched it this far, God bless you. Give you a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever it is in yeah. your heart. Leave the comments below. We'll answer each one of them thoughtfully. Uh, and yeah. uh, we'll talk to you again. This has been mm -hmm. Memories with John. Maybe yes. Take care. Have a good one.